Hello there, I am Chase, and I'm making a little video tutorial on how to run emulations. Um, in this case, we're going to be doing uh, Pokemon emulations on your computer. Um, let me start out and say I'm sick right now, so my voice might be kind of nasally or just kind of annoying, or I might cough or whatever. So, sorry. Um, I'll do my best not to, you know, cough into the microphone or whatever. First things first, we gotta download the files that we need. Um, so I'll go ahead and open up Firefox. I've already downloaded all this stuff, so I'm not actually gonna re-download it, but I'll show you guys where to get it. Um, so first we'll get the emulator itself. Um, my favorite Game Boy emulator is Visual Boy Advance. Uh, so that's the one we're gonna be using. So go ahead, Visual Boy Advance, right there. Uh, their website is the first result. Let's go ahead and click that. This is their website. You know, they've got news. You got all the latest builds, all the you know new files. We're gonna go ahead and go to downloads. I'm running Windows 7, so my download is right here. But uh, if you're you know if you're on a Linux or Source or I don't really know what BEOS is, uh, but uh, yeah, if that's what you're running, you've got your stuff down here. There's also um, a version for Mac OS X out there, or OS X, or whatever it's supposed to be called. Um, but uh, the latest version for Windows is right up at the top. Right now it's version 1.7.2. That might change in the future, I don't know, but right now that's the one we're going to be downloading. The latest version will probably be at the top always, so if you're if right now it doesn't say 1.72, it says 1.73 or 1.8 or whatever uh, just go ahead and download that um, I can vouch that this that these downloads are safe I haven't gotten any viruses from any of this stuff it's gonna redirect you to SourceForge um, you can go ahead and open it uh, with WinZip I got a program called JZip um, because my WinZip wore out and JZip is free and it works perfectly so I guess that's the little plug for JZip um, so you're going to open it and extract the files from there. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but you should pay, uh, I'm pretty sure in that uh, in that zip file, it basically has the visualboyadvance.exe, which is this right here. This is my shortcut to it. It'll have uh, a readme and a f probably a few other text files. Um, the only one that we actually have to worry about is the Visual Boy Advance one, though. Um, but go ahead and extract all of the files. Um, next, now that we have Visual Boy Advanced, we open it up. Oh no, but there's nothing to run. So, go back to your web browser. And um, there are a lot of ROM sites out there. The one that... Oh, ROM downloads. Downloads. Just go ahead and Google search download ROM downloads. Uh, there are a lot of sites out there for it. Uh, ROM Hustler, Dope ROMs, Cool ROMs, ROM Freak. I use Cool ROM simply because uh, I think it's the first one I found, um, and because currently it works at my school. My school's got some pretty uh, harsh security systems going on, a lot of firewalls, a lot of uh, blockers, and all that stuff. But uh, Cool ROMs works at my school, so uh, it might work at yours if you're planning on getting any things from the, your school. But uh, so what we're gonna go is into ROM files. Uh, pick the system you're downloading it for. We're doing Game Boy Advance. And uh, what we're gonna do is uh, download some Pokemon, because Pokemon is awesome. So go, you know, go to section P, or you know, you can get whatever file you want. It won't really matter. I'm showing you guys how to do Pokemon. You could essentially pick any of these and just follow the steps, and it'll still work for you. Um, we're gonna do Fire Red because I'm pretty sure that is the latest version out there, or the latest uh, game out there that was put out for Game Boy Advance. Um, because now they're into Nintendo DS stuff. Um, it's gonna ask you to wait 15 seconds so that you know we can like click on their ads or whatever, um, so that they can make money. But uh, yeah. So now we got our download link. You can click it. It'll open up this. You can go ahead and open that and extract the files. It'll only have two files this time, a Pokemon Fire Red .gba 
and a readme file. The readme file is essentially unimportant. All it does is open up a little web browser and it'll say, you got this ROM from coolroms.com. So you don't really need to extract it. You can if you want. It's like a kilobyte. It's really tiny. So it won't hurt you by extracting it, but uh, whatever. I put all my ROMs and all my stuff into a folder called emulations. I would advise you to organize it well um, because uh, you know organization is great and all that stuff. So um, now that you have your ROM and you have your emulator, you can go ahead and open up your emulator. Go to file, open, and uh, find your file. Mine are all right here. Uh, I've got Fire Red. I've got Ruby. Also have a version that I'm currently hacking. Um, I'm modding it. Um, I might post a video tutorial on how to do that sort of stuff. But right now we're just sticking with the basics, which is just how to play them. So go ahead and open up Clone Fire Red. Um, if you're running Windows 7, I'm pretty sure this ho happens to everybody running Windows 7. It changes your theme back to basic. Um, it hasn't bothered me so far. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it works fine. I'll enlarge it a little. Um, you can go full screen if you want. I choose not to because it looks really bad. It's just really pixelated. Uh, and that's only because, not because the ROM file has a lower quality, but because the quality of the image is actually low. Because, think about it, you're playing it on a Game Boy screen. Those things are tiny. And, uh, you know, I've got a, I think, a 17-inch... Uh, monitor so it's, the graphics are not gonna you know look so hot on it but whatever it's Pokemon it's still awesome um, controls are your arrow keys and Z and X are A and B um, it's gonna give you this little intro because that's just what Pokemon does they want to tell you about Pokemon and there's Professor Oak and Nidoran or Nido whatever I'm a boy hit enter I'll just uh, right, enter is start, by the way. Um, there's my rival. His name will be Green, which is a kind of stupid name, but whatever. And uh, here I am. Um, I can walk around. I can, you know, games there in its entirety. You can play the whole thing. Um, up here, uh, you'll see it says 200%. That means that the game is running at 200% of the normal speed, which would be 100% and 100% is how fast the game would run on a Game Boy. Um, your computer is a lot more powerful than a Game Boy, or at least I would hope it is. So we can run it faster than the Game Boy can. Um, you can if you want to run it faster than 200%, you can go ahead and go into File Options, or Options, Frame Skip, Throttle, and then uh, pick whatever you want. If you want to run it slower, pick anything below 100%. I don't know why you would want to run it slower, but whatever. Uh, you can go into other, you can type in whatever. I'm going to keep it at 200, um, just because I, I like it at 200. If you want to, you can press the space bar and hold it down, and you'll see that my frame uh, rate has gone up. It's now around, I think around 750 is what it's averaging to. Um, and that basically, if you hold on spacebar, it's saying, okay, computer, I want you to run this game as fast as you can. And at my computer, that's around 800%. Um, if you have a better computer than I do, then you might be able to run it, then you'll be able to run it faster. If you have a slower computer, then you'll run it slower. But, um, basically all computers out there should be able to run it above 100%. Um, that's basically all there is to it. When you want to save it. You can you can do one of two things. You can press enter, which is the start button. You can go down to save and actually save the game. Um, what I like to do is actually go up to file and then save. Um, basically, that just allows me to save it anywhere. Um, so even if I'm in a battle where I normally couldn't save, I can save it. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's all there is to it. Um, a few notes is that you don't have to actually install anything. So if you want to, you can put all this stuff on a flash drive or email it to yourself or whatever and uh, be able to run it from any computer you want to, uh, so long as it's the same operating system. That's the essentials. Um, like I said, I might have a video up telling you how to do some hacks, some cool stuff. But uh, right now, that's all you're going to need to start playing. Um, if you have any questions, you can put in the comments. Um, but yeah, happy gaming.